Hi again, this is Richard Burdick with his teaching exercises. Um, beginning students, which I see a lot of, whom I see a lot of, they have no clue about hand position. I even tell them, I tell them, do it this way, and they still don't do it. So if you're one of my students, this is a reminder. If you're not one of my students, this is how I do it. It's not correct for every school of horn playing around the world, I see. But what I do, and if you were to audition for my section, this is what I'd want you to do. Um, I relax my hand. Relax. I start from a relaxed hanging position. And curl it around. Put your thumb on the side. Yes, thumb on the side of your hand. Hands fairly flat. I'm lazy. I like my heart on the leg. Maybe it's softer. Maybe it's more stable. I like it. And so the sound is, if it's on the leg, the sound will hit the leg. So you're, you put your hand down here to cover, so it's only one, it's not here, hand and leg absorbing the sound a little bit. It's just the hand, not the leg. Um, then here, in, if you watch Engelbert Schmidt's video in German, it's really helpful to see him with the cutout bell. That's really cool. Um, but here, in, a little farther than you want, you think but fairly open, farther and fairly open. Okay, that's my hand position. Now, if you can play natural horn. Then your hand's pretty much in the right place, not that I'm getting all the notes perfectly in tune, but... I'm pretty happy with that. It's from somewhere between here and here. Low notes, I'm going to go... I'm not going to keep my hand covered as much for low notes. Like this? Okay, here's a bad example. But instead I'm going to go... I'm going to open up more for low notes, especially down... And then in the high register you can cover more if you need, if you go with sharp. So that's, that's something on the hand position. Um, stopping horn. There was that big debate in the 1970s in the International Horn Society. Yes, stopping horn goes down to a half step above the overtone below. I'll show you. The C to the B, the first one, C to B, half step, because the B flat is the overtone. But then E, the fifth harmonic, falls to C sharp, a minor third. And it's the same principle. So middle C is going to fall to E flat. See that G goes to... C sharp. And then if you get approached that way, um, Tchaikovsky 6 isn't as hard. But I still need a lot of air for that. And I slobber a little bit. So there it is, hand position and stomping horn. Thanks for watching today.